Hi everyone, it's Annie from Liz and Annie back again uh, with some more videos. But this time, instead of making some canvas tip and trick videos, I'm going to be focusing a bit on another platform that UCR has recently acquired and has been encouraging us to use, which is Yuja. So Yuja, for those that aren't familiar, is a video storage platform that has a lot of other capabilities as well. But for purposes of this video, I'm just gonna focus on how I've been using Yuja um, in my classes for the fall and how I will continue to do so in the winter. So the main thing I've been using it for is just for storing my videos and for auto captioning my videos um, after they're being recorded in my Zoom room. I can upload them to Yuja and have them auto captioned and then link directly from Yuja. Yuja um, into my courses for students to access the videos later. So let me go ahead and show you just how I do that. Okay, so hi, I'm in the upper corner now. So I'm entering into my Canvas space since that's the platform we're transitioning to. So I'm starting here, but I'll show you uh, Blackboard after this. So say I recorded a fabulous lecture for one of my classes and I have saved it to my computer or saved it to my Zoom cloud and downloaded it to my computer so that it won't get automatically deleted um, by accident, right? I have it in my personal computer, but I need to distribute it to my students. So um, to do that, I need to go into one of my courses that, um, that I have access to. So I'm gonna pick one of them that I've been teaching in the fall. So I enter into my course page and then you see on the side, here uh, with our menu options, if you go about halfway down, you should have the option to access Yuja here. So you can go ahead and click on Yuja and it will open up the Yuja um, interface kind of window that you can work in. So just like a Google Drive storage, um, uh, storage device, I guess, or storage space, you can organize your information into folders. So what I've done for this fall is I've created folders for each of my courses. So I'm in 211 right now. So if I enter into that, you can see that I've organized all of my videos by week so that I can enter into any of these and then go into any particular day from that week and find all of my lecture videos, right? So I have a nice organizational system going on here. Um, but if I want to upload a new video, um, I would create some sort of folder. So for this one, I'm gonna call it um, Yuja Demos, right? I'll call it Yuja Demos. And then you see it appearing in this upper left corner here. So I can just go right into that file, uh, into that folder rather. And now you see that there are no videos in there since this is new. All you have to do as this window helpfully tells you is drag and drop your content to instantly start the upload. So I'm going to use this sample video from recording earlier with Liz, a blooper video where my dog started barking halfway through. <laughs> so you just drag and drop your file, uh, video file into that space and you can see it start to upload here. If you're uploading a whole lecture, it'll take quite a while. Uh, but this one was pretty short, so it uploaded fairly quickly. Um, so now you can see that the video file is automatically um, processing. So once that's done processing, then you get access to many more options that can help you organize the video and also um, link the video to your course content. So what it's doing when it's processing is um, auto captioning. Actually, this is a, something that happens automatically when you upload to Yuja, it goes through your video and adds captions automatically. So you don't have to do anything to do that. Um, while this is going, I'll, I'll put in an aside about Zoom because Zoom does do auto captioning, that's true. Um, but if you are linking from somewhere outside of the Zoom cloud, which is where that auto captioning happens, um, so if you're linking somewhere outside of that Zoom cloud, which is um, best practice, that's what UCR has been encouraging us to do because the Zoom storage is um, limited and we will have our lecture videos deleted if we're storing them in the cloud, they get deleted after a certain amount of time. Um, so you need to download them for your own safekeeping. Once you do that though, and upload to something like Google Drive, for example, the uh, captions and the video get uncoupled. So they are no longer auto captioning. So if you're linking to a Google Drive, uh, to your video in Google Drive or um, from the, the downloaded file that you have from Zoom, it actually does not have the ability to be captioned. Um, so one way to work around that is instead of storing your downloaded videos in Google Drive is to store them in Yuja because now it will auto caption for you as it's processing. And when it's done processing, it will actually send you an email to your UCR account that tells you it's done processing and it's auto captioned and ready for sharing. So once this is uploaded, you can hover over this um, icon here 
this video icon and you get a whole bunch of options here. What I do for my classes is I go down to more and I change the name of the video from whatever file name it got automatically saved as to something more informative like blooper canvas video or something. So you can save it with a nice name that's intuitive for your students. And then when I'm done with that, I want to link it to my course, like post the link somewhere in my course website so students can click and access that video. So I go into links and then I copy this direct link here and then paste it somewhere accessible for my students in my course. Okay. So that's where you find the link. So as soon as I get the link, I copy it and then I go put it somewhere in my course. So I'll show you how I do that here. Uh, as we've talked about previously in other videos with Canvas, you wanna be putting things into your modules. So the place that I put all of these links is in a module called lecture videos. So I'll just click in week two, right? You can see I click into link two. It takes me to this page where I have all of the links for my week two lecture videos. I split mine up into multiple smaller videos. That's why there are so many for the two days of the week. Um, and then I just copy paste the link here um, and students are able to access it. So previously I'd been storing things in Google Drive. You can see my Google Drive links here. Um, but for students that need, oops, for students that need auto captioning, I have um, another page at the bottom called captioned video links, where you can see I've inserted all of these links to Yuja, which I'm going to do that in the future, just so I have auto captioning at videos just all in one place. There's only one place to find the videos instead of non-captioned and captioned. I'm gonna uh, synthesize down to just the Yuja video so you can see that here. Um, so that's how you would um, upload your video and then deploy it into your Canvas course. But if you are using Blackboard still for the upcoming quarter, um, you would just go into your Blackboard page, click into whichever class you want to deploy videos. You can see on the side here, much like in Canvas, if you go about halfway down, you'll find a link to Yuja, which will take you to that same uh, account, right? It's the same linked account. So you can see here that the, the folder I created in the Canvas uh, version of Yuja is right here, the Yuja demos, um, and that blooper Canvas video is here. So it's accessible across uh, learning management system platforms. If you have maybe one class in Canvas and one in iLearn like I did, um, it doesn't matter. You just connect it across all of them. So just like before, you would just go in here, copy the link, and then deploy the link somewhere in your Blackboard page as you've always done in the past. So for me, let me go back to my iLearn page very quickly. So for me, I have this in course materials and then I have lecture recordings. I have it, oops, I have it organized by week again. And then I have a folder for the captioned videos where you go into each day. And then I have each of these um, parts of the lecture video linked. And if I hover over it, um, you can see at the very bottom of my screen in the lower uh, left-hand corner, you can see that the URL there is a ucr.uja.com link. So I've linked to the Yuja videos here. Um, and I think that's about it. That's all I've been using Yuja for so far. Um, but it does allow you to link directly to your videos and then have um, some captioned versions of the video. So if I wanted, I could just hit, I could just hit this CC down here, this closed captioning, and you see my captions appear automatically. And I didn't write the captions. You just did that for me. Okay, so that's about it for now. Um, I will see you in some other videos. All right, bye everybody.